This is Alan Bush with ADMIS with the daily financial forecast for Tuesday, December 8th. In the stock index futures, we are seeing prices under some pressure this morning. This mainly due to news that Chinese economic data coming in weaker than expected. Also, we do have the upcoming Fed meeting on December 16th, where it is widely expected that the Federal Open Market Committee will increase interest rates probably by 25 basis points. So with that looming ahead, that is one reason uh, as far as the Fed uh, interest rate meeting is concerned for traders not to establish new long positions ahead of, of a meeting where they are likely to tighten credit. However, once the meeting is out of the way and they do raise rates, which I and I think they will raise rates at that meeting, I think we can see a new leg up for all of the major stock indices. Now, moving over to the currencies, seeing the euro currency trading higher, even though we did have the eurozone GDP coming in up 0.3%, which was exactly as expected. So the euro currency performing a bit better than the news. Also, we have the uh, British pound coming under some pressure with some weak factory order numbers out of the UK and the yen trading higher. In fact, the GDP in Japan was up 1% and that compares to what was previously reported as a 0.8% decline. So uh, the Japan's GDP actually showing an increase when a contraction uh, was reported earlier. Also now in the interest rate futures markets, we are seeing prices a little bit lower. Earlier in the day, we did see some gains at the long end of the curve. This due to the commodity prices generally coming under some pressure. It's also due to stock index futures weaker. But since then, those gains have eroded and we are now seeing futures trading lower, especially at the long end. And we do feel that the main trend on the 30-year bonds is lower now, especially with reports that core inflation levels uh, around the world and in many of the uh, larger industrialized countries are actually showing uh, an increase. Uh, so with that in mind, I think that any rallies should be used as selling opportunities in the 30-year Treasury bonds. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.